Today is Thursday, April 11, 2019. The time is 6.30 p.m. and the special meeting of the Greensburg Redevelopment Commission is called to order. At this time, please silence your electronic devices. And if everyone will stand, we'll have a pledge of allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To comply with Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the City requests that participants in this meeting complete a voluntary anonymous survey that is available on the table in the back of the room. Judy, would you conduct roll call, please? Yes. David Weigel? Present. Adam Wenzel? Present. Ken Dornick? Present. Darren Covington? Here. Sharon McClough? Here. Jody Kaufman? Here. I would like to amend our agenda. We just we have a, our annual report of the Redevelopment Commission was put together by Umball, and I just want to be able to discuss that briefly. If we could put that in the agenda somewhere, maybe right after Lincoln Street update. Would that be fine? Yes. Well, we'll do that then. Okay. Approved minutes of the March 14th, 2019 special meeting. Are there any corrections to the minutes? Yes. <laughs> Why correct my minutes? Let's correct uh, where it's the third paragraph where it says 1.5 million. Let's make that 1.5 million a year. And uh, asking for instead of $500, let's bump it up to 500,000. <laughs> so I think the mayor would appreciate that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, with those corrections, the minutes stand approved as corrected. First item on the agenda is update of project status for Veterans Way Phase 2. Mr. May, do you have much to report? Good evening. I do not have much to report. I do have what I think is good news. We have we had talked before about getting some additional monies for right-of-way acquisition from Federal Highway Administration, and I believe the number was something like 800000 additional. We have more formal approval of that additional uh, funding level from NDOT, we will have an agreement or an amendment to our agreement that will go before the Board of Works next month for the additional funds. We also had talked in the past about starting the utility relocation work to get that out of the way. Uh, Vectron Energy is a reimbursable utility and NDOT has made available the monies right now for paying Vectron to start moving. So I think there's a little paperwork yet to be shuffled, but that's gonna go ahead and occur here very shortly. We have a utility coordination meeting set up for later this month with those utilities that have involvement there. And we're gonna try and get all of them moving forward and get something out of the way there. And otherwise we continue to work on the last parcel of right away that's become the linchpin for the project. Thank you. How about Lincoln Street update? Um, I'm happy to be able to stand here tonight and tell you that the paving work is virtually finished. I say virtually only because we put a curb uh, along one of the property lines and the our neighbor has a paved parking lot there and we need to do a narrow strip of paving to finish that work. Uh, hopefully that will happen tomorrow. Um, after that, we still have a handful of items, the biggest of which uh, probably is the pavement markings. Um, we will either tomorrow or Friday, if the weather is appropriate, apply a joint seal, a, a sprayed on seal over the top of the longitudinal joint. And then we have to wait five days for that to cure before we can place pavement markings. So we hope to do that in the latter part of next week. Um, there's just the general kinds of cleanup and, and just a few small items left to do. Um, probably by the end of the month, we will be ready to open that traffic. Uh, so we're as diligent now as we can be to get everything done and done right. And um, I, I, 
I have pride in the product that we have produced. I wish it had been produced a little quicker, but um, I, I think we've been successful in not taking shortcuts and, and having something we can all be proud of for many years to come. That's certainly my goal. Well, the rail along Gas Creek sure looks nice and see yes, where it's sure. Yeah. Did we end up doing the, did we do the cement barrier that goes to Washington? Or was that just already nice like that? It looked new. The on the south side, of, on the north side of the bridge. Yes. That's always been there. Oh. I've always, as long as it I've been around. Like, it looked like it was brand new. So I was Relative to the bridge, it is, <laughs> but <laughs> it's been at least 30 years bad. old. Better. Hey, now. Well, maybe yeah. the other side of the <laughs> New coat so. paint in my house makes my cabinets look better. So. Um, I had one more question. We kind of talked about the alley between Central and Mm -hmm. That was paved today, the part that was okay. disturbed. That was an aftermath. Uh, it was the last thing that happened today. Sweet. So. That's the only thing I was worried about the whole We yeah. have yeah. another alley that needs some stone put in it. That one was previously a, had a short stretch of pavement there. And the other one has always had stone in it, so we'll put crushed stone in the other one and to finish it up. We, that's the kind, those are the kinds of things we have to, to do, is just a little work here and there and somewhere else. And, and it looks like they intend to do as best as possible to refinish up to the homeowner's properties, as far as they were yes. willing to let us. <clears throat> yes, uh, some of the embankments need some more dirt work. They're just not acceptable to me. So we'll do a little more grading work. Do you anticipate that they're going to be able to be working on this punch list stuff while they're waiting on the sealant to take place? or? I hope so. The one thing to remember is we are holding 10% retainage on the project, and that comes to something over $100,000. And I've always been a little confused by this, but if I were a contractor that had $5,000 worth of work to do and I could get hundred thousand dollars for it I'd be right on it um, doesn't always work that way somehow but yeah I hope so did they have a substantial completion date in their contract um, in the highway business we do not use substantial completion but we do have a completion date and that uh, expired last week one day do we have a liquidated damage yes clause there is there? liquidated damage clause in the contract Perhaps we could convince them that they should be working on their punch list items while they're waiting on the sealant because although I do agree with you, it does look fabulous and it is something to be proud of, we need to get that street open. Actually, I've had property owners ask me if we could just leave it closed for I'm sure that they would have, <laughs> but yeah. it does, you know, yeah. I, I have yes. a taxpayers yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you've all had people ask and ask oh, and ask, and so, well, and it's more like they don't believe me when I say I give them a larger date of the end of the month, well, yeah. and, and they're not believing me still, and I'm like, I'm kind of the person that would be, I mean, top 20 list that would know. Well, I think 20. I'm going 20. Any persuasive pressure that we can put on them, I think that we should continue to do. We will do all we can to see I that understand. it happens. You look like you nice if it's done for Easter. That's like, yeah. On the, 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 call the approaches, side street off of Lincoln, are they finished? In yes, they were finished today. Okay, because I looked last night and they, okay. And we had a very productive day for once. That, um, when you, when they put down the seal on it, uh -huh. are we going to need to close the cross streets so people aren't driving on any of that? Maybe for an hour each or something like okay, that. I didn't the know cure time is up. pretty short on that. And they've been really good about informing the emergency agencies when those the times those have to be yeah. closed. I do I did get a compliment on that. The temptation is gonna be there now that there's asphalt now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. To try to drive on it looks finished at this point. Duke's already driven on it. Mm -hmm. We've worked with Duke throughout yeah, trying, to get trying to assure they have access. They're yeah. they're an emergency service provider in a sense. So we want them to be able to do their work. Well, you've done a great job on it, and all the design, everything looks great. We just press it, get it done, get it done. <clears throat> she show up and tell them, right? I'll be happy to walk down there again tomorrow. What I, my plan is to give them Shane's phone. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> That's fine. 
I've done it before. If you need it, I'll come in and we can be a little persuasive if we need to be. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you. So you're you're saying, welcome. You're saying we no, we'll be buttoned up and finished by the end of the month at the outset. No, Ken, I did not say that. That's what I heard you say. I wrote it here. So it's got to be notes. Remember your hearing aids. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this side only. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Next item we added to the agenda. Everybody has a place. I think it's just a, a formality. I think it's a state requirement. The TIF Management Annual Report of the Redevelopment Commission. That was put together by Umball for us, and we just have to have our minutes show that we received this today. So um, I, I don't know how how particular they are on this, but I actually wasn't here at the start at the start. So I don't know if that needs to be updated or not. So it was, I started April, April, and then by Adam. Well, this list is active as of 1218. Here we are, Christmas time. Right, but it says it's active right. start date was January 1st. Uh, that, yeah, that's really no, potentially that's not right. Yeah. I don't know if it matters, but I just want to point it out. Okay. Maybe Dan could ask him if that's something we can actually correct. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Can I hear a motion to accept this? So moved. Thank you, Adam. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Ken. All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Now, our resolution for the bond draw date revision. Adam, would you care to comment anything about that? Yeah, it's, it became a little more simple than I think we were thinking it would be. The only thing that happened, we moved it from August of 19. August of 2023. There is no additional fees, correct, Chris? No interest changes. They didn't do around extra free fees for the rewrite. The lawyer, Richard Hall, I'm sure will have a fee for um, drawing up the paperwork, but I think that is the only thing we're going to see. It has been approved. Chris has seen it. I've seen it. Um, the bank approved it, and the lawyer approved it already, the bond lawyer. So, it's good to go. We just got to pass it, sign it, and get it to them. That's awesome that they can have terms all the same. Yep. I mean, really. Move to approve. Thank you, Darren. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Kim. Any discussion on that? Those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <laughs> Motion carries 5 0. Do we have an original copy we have to sign? I have an unmarked copy of, of the resolution. Okay. Yeah, I want to do that afterwards. Okay. Yep. Okay. Next item on our agenda is approval of claims. We have three claims. One is from New Point Stone for $406.79. And a claim from Landman Beatty, um, as far as property acquisition and legal work of three thousand three hundred seventy-two dollars and fifty cents. And uh, legal fees from Hamilton Tevy Law Office of three hundred seventy-five dollars. Which projects are those? Um, the Landman Beatty is for Veterans Way. Following the last. What about the other two? What projects are they? Um, the New Point Stone is for Lincoln Street, and Hamilton Tibby is. Just that's what? Fine. Yeah. If you want to make this, that's a quick number. Anything about 802, is that right? I think that'd be simple. They, they add up to $4,154.29. One of those yes. 
so we can pull from 803 on one of them if we really wanted to, but to do a drawdown um, for $3,000 might be more worth it. Yeah. I move to approve all three from 802. I'll second. Thank you, Al. Any discussion on those claims? Hearing none. Those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Yes. Motion carries 5 0. Looks like that gets us to the end of our agenda. Our next meeting date will be Thursday, May 16, 2019. Our regular scheduled meeting, April 18th, next Thursday, will not be held. I, I will not be here next month. I'll be in Minneapolis. Okay. Might be warmer there. <laughs> That's right, because they don't have a blizzard, didn't they? Yeah. Right <laughs> all right, thank you all for coming. Our meeting stands adjourned. So,